So I've been wanting to do this project for a while now, and uh, finally I've got a day off and a bit of time to do it. So, symbol repair. Just turn the camera around and you can have a look. So here we are. I've got uh, these five symbols. Starting from the largest, I've got this hand-hammered 18-inch uh, uh, Chinese. This one is suffering with a great big concentric crack. Oh, let's see if you can see this, zoom in there really rough and that goes around for about five inches or so but I'll just extend past it so I'm gonna try a bit of a lozenge cut on that one and I've got this 14 inch studio AX by Sabian as well and that I've had for oh, I've had this symbol for about 20 years anyway it cracked through about oh, maybe 10 years ago and I stopped using it picked up a, a second and 13 inch version of the same but it's got two cracks there and there, very short, so I'm going to do a nice smooth cut round those. I've got two Zildjian K 12 splashes, a replacement when it cracked, and they failed in exactly the same way. So I wonder whether there's something wrong with their moulds at the time. You can't see this, in fact, I can't even feel it, but there's a concentric crack on each one about an inch from the bell. Uh, as you just about see that one there, just where my fingers run in there. Uh, on this one, it's harder to find, and I'll have to actually hold it up to the light to find it, I think. Uh, think it's around here. So those I'm going to do a lozenge cut and then a matching one on the other side. Same with this lozenge and on the other side and maybe do one of them with a couple of um, ozone holes as well. Finally got this Zildjian Splash, sorry Zildjian Splash, Sabian Splash 8 inch AX and I've got a replacement for this one because uh, this one developed a crack on the edge. Where is it? There. You see that? There. So that one I'm just going to do a nice little smooth cut out you know, circ, uh, very sort of sine wave style, keep it smooth. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start with this one because it's the smallest and if I screw it up, uh, well, it can just become part of a little trash hat or something like that. Tools, Dremel 3000 is the entry level Dremel, little circular cutters. Um, I've seen other people online doing these, uh, cutting with these and they, they work really well. Plus it's got the um, the, the little sanding and the, uh, the grinding sets, uh, which I can use to get the edges um, smoothed out and then for doing the ozones and also starting off the starting off the cuts is just going to be these hole cutters um, which mount onto a drill um, and they're going to be used for doing you know start off let's say where is it where's the crack so I'll be going through and going through at either end and then connecting them up with the Dremel right then here goes they're neat these little units aren't they nice little uh, Pouch. Let me just open this up. I've never had one of these before. It comes in its own cute little bag. Gets a few sanding bits and bobs and a few sanding wheels. No cut though as far as I can see. And then there we are. Nifty. It would be a bit remiss of me not to record the sound of it before and after, so this is what it sounds like now with the crack. Can't really hear the crack, but of course it's only going to get worse with impacts. Here we go. A bit of distance, just in case. It's definitely got issues. Hmm. Right, it's marked up now. So what I've done is I've used this pot, which is just the right size for what I wanted. And it's just uh, the intersection of two, uh, two arcs, really. Nice, smooth, straight in, round, straight out again. And just drew with Sharpie on there. Well, safety gas is on, of course. There we are. That's the piece I've taken out. Of course it's rough and I've cut less, less than I actually want to get to because it's easier for me to take material off now from that shape with the uh, sanding and brushing tools. Well, here it is after first cut and grind. Um, let me try it with the stick actually, see what it's like. Yeah. Sounds okay. So that's one down, we've got the edge pretty smooth. It's not quite as polished as I'd like, it's got a couple of little rough bits. I mean, it's, it's pretty good um, and it sounds okay. 
Alright, here I am ready to do the 14 uh, studio crash. Of course, this was too small really to accommodate and it would have looked weird. So I went with a can of paint and made the exact same smooth sort of intersection there. That's what I'm going to follow along. Here it goes. And here it is. This is the raw Dremel cut. There's the piece with the cracks. And there's the edging. You can see how rough it is when you first get it. Anyway, on with the grinder. Finished product. I'm just going to get some uh, white spirit on and of course take the uh, take the sharpie off, leftover sharpie, but nice and smooth. Again, a little shy. It's difficult to get it really, really smooth like the rest of the symbol feels already. Needs some sort of special polisher, so I may do some further work on that. It's not bad. Anyway, how it sounds, yeah, it's not too bad. Sounds like a crash symbol. Sounds not far off like it did before. Okay, well next up, it's uh, 12 inch china. It's upside down because I'm going to be cutting from this side. So let's see how it sounds at the moment. Oh yeah. I can hear the rattling and it's coming from this crack, which is, so I'm going to find it. So now it's going to be a drill to start it off. I'm going to drill through and isolate the crack. Okay, drill, drill. I'm going to have two holes at either end of the crack. I'm going to go not directly center line on the crack, so the center of the hole isn't going to be in line with the crack going around. I'm actually going to line it up further in because I don't really want to drill getting into the bell when I go on the flat part of the symbol, which I can just about manage. So it's going to be like here, not here. Because um, also drilling in with that angle, I don't know what it's going to do. Will the drill just kick up? I'll find out. So yeah, drill, drill, and then it's going to be the Dremel cut around, so I'm going to be following just along near the crack along here. So here I am marked up and ready to go. Um, there's the crack, there's the, the apparent end of the crack line, it's going a bit further, and then in just about half of the of the diameter of the, of the hole drill, and here's the drill down here. I am terrified of what this is going to do to the symbol, it might be absolutely terrible. Oh well. Too late to go back now. Well I've been drilling for a couple of minutes and mm, looks like it's about halfway through. Well it's broken through. Um, I'm not keen on what this drill is doing to it. It's like a weird... It's hacking away at it. It wobbles a lot. I think maybe I should have used it around. Drill bit taking a bit longer. I'm worried this is going to introduce cracks of its own into the symbol but I guess if the whole part of it goes through okay then maybe that'll stop any cracking because it's just going to be cutting around anyway so well that's after two minutes of drilling with the whole drill and yeah that's going to take quite a while I think that's going to take a good 20 minutes to get through and I don't want to force it I don't want to go too fast because that is going to wreck it so yeah I'm just going to have to take my time and get through well finally uh, here it is the well, finished product it took a long time and these, where is it, this uh, does not work for going through a symbol. Well, if I was prepared to stand there for maybe an hour, it could have worked, but no. Uh, so I ended up back on the Dremel with the uh, mini rotary and just rough cut it through and then finished it off with the, with the sanding file like that. And that was absolutely brilliant because it was just slightly smaller than the space than the actual hole I was working on. And so I could just get it inside there and uh, and um, just change the shape of it, just modify it. So it was all rough up until about this point and, and sort of here. And then I just finished it off, just round it out, uh, just hand sanded. And it sounds, it sounds interesting. It's got a little chinoiness to it. Not bad. I'm quite pleased with that. Right, well moving on to the 18 inch hand hammered Sabian Chinese. This is what it sounds like. I'll hear it on the other side from the crack, don't want to make it worse. It 
it just tends to die very quickly. It just uh, has a really short decay, and obviously it's cracked anyway, so it will just collapse after a while. So I've marked it up. That's what I'm going to do. This time I'm going to actually follow the crack. I'm going to follow the existing crack, which is just where that line, the lines meet there. It extends on for about half, about an inch, and then just a nice big fat round end. Looks a bit rude. Um, so it's going to cut right through the lo logo. Oh well. Um, Let's see how it turns out. I'm a little bit worried about having this great big long isolated flap of metal. Not much I can do about that. And if it doesn't work out, then uh, yeah, it's obviously I'm doing the lozenge on the inside. If I did it on the outside, well, I'd practically just be cutting the whole edge anyway, so that would be pointless. So I'm going to try for the lozenge. If that doesn't work, I might even just do a, a full big, big cut in. From the outside, I don't know how that will sound, but it's going to be losing a lot of symbol. But here we go. This is going to be Dremel all the way. Uh, the um, the drilling with the with the hole the hole drill does not work. I'm going to look see if there's a better part out there for doing this kind of thing to make ozone style symbols. Hmm. Right, Dremel. Here it comes. Well, here's the raw cut on the china. Uh, all with the Dremel. Just you know, rough on the on the circle. Yeah, it's not too bad. So now I'm just gonna shave that in using the um, using the sanding adapter. Let's see how it goes. Right. Well, here we are. It's uh, the china's cut. The lozenge is done. Uh, made it pretty smooth. Uh, got a little bit of a corner. A little bit of a cornery feel there. So I might do a bit more polish on it, but it looks okay. Um, hand sanded. That feels dead smooth. Let's see how it sounds. Here how it sounds. Bad. <laughs> Load of metal dust there. Let's try it again. That's it for today. Um, four symbols fixed. Took about four hours. It's not a bad rate of work. Uh, so we've got the 8 inch splash here with a just nice smooth cut out there. Same for the 14 inch crash, just nice big smooth cut out. And from experience, this is the way to go if you want the, uh, the repair to last possibly as long as the original symbol might have done. Um, and then on the K splash, I've got the lozenge cut. I'm a little bit annoyed with myself. I didn't quite. You can possibly see the cut is actually going inside the lathe lines. It should have followed the lathe line exact. So I may redo that cut just a little bit. And then on the hand hammered Chinese, this uh, I managed to nail it on the lathe lines straight round. It's uh, gone pretty good. And uh, you've heard them all. So I might sell a couple of these. Maybe I'll keep them in my collection. We'll see.